Oh, Rowan doesn't understand how much damage I deal. Let's let's indicate him. What's up, beautiful people? It's Celadon here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing Niwa in mid, accompanied here by Fenrir. It's Rain Conquest. We're playing against what looks like a Merling Ravana set in jungle on the enemy team. So we're gonna add the speed buff as per usual. As you may already know, Niwa just got an amazing buff. Her minions are actually able to deliver damage now, which is pretty fine. I think Fenner just blinked to the small camp, which is weird. We're taking a lot of poke from Merlin over here, but we're gonna outpush him. And also, he actually took more poke than we did. Unfortunately, though, the backline is not clear. Ah, oh, I missed that one. That would have been good. Fenner is coming out of way, and if Merlin stays like that, he's gonna die. He is also on the wrong side of the lane. We hit that, which is nice. That should be a kill. He's still level one. Looks like he messed up on the speed buff or his jungler messed up, which is the same thing. We're gonna go straight for the red over here. We also got a kill in dueling, which is awesome. And it's also a kill on the ADC, not a support. Looks like Ravana's pathing is going straight for the red buff. Yeah, <laughs> he showed himself on the minions. And he still goes there. Oh my man. He got it, unfortunate. We're gonna kill him here, most probably. I hit both of my autos. Oh, Fenner is slowed. We won't catch him. But what we can catch here is Merlin. Hello, Merlin. That's one. Let's say just here, he can do some damage. Ooh, one HP, man. That was extremely unfortunate. I wasn't able to kill both of them. But Ravana came back and we still got a kill. Unfortunately, we traded with our jungler as well. Hmm, got the spoke as well. Let's line them up better. This minion can hold them only that long. I think I'm gonna push the next wave. I don't think any jungler or Merlin that just back will be able to stop me from doing so and a center one and just straight up back over here should be fine so the buff on the new minions uh, gives them uh, more move speed as soon as you level up the ability which allows the minions to actually apply the debuff the protection debuff that happens when they dash at your enemy god more effectively and also stick to the enemy gods more effectively and that allows you to apply your combo way easier than before. The stun, On the debuffs, everything. She, she's just a lot less frustrating right now because that was a core part of her kit. Gonna get a significant amount of poke. I'm gonna clear the wave pretty much instantly. We're gonna do, as soon as we finish our boost, we're gonna do that pretty instantly. We ult here for the assist on the solo lane kill. That gonna give us a bit of gold since our ultimate barely does any damage right now. It's very effective to use it that way. Just the same way that you use Shibalanki's ultimate, the same purpose. As long as the effect is on the enemy god while you're casting it, you're gonna get the assist and extra gold for, well, nothing. Although my ultimate gives me a little bit of uh, safety during the gank, it's a lot more effective to get that goal from assists. If you see that there's a guaranteed kill coming from some lane, you should keep attention on the map. Like, I kept attention on the dual lane if I had my ultimate up right now. I would have definitely ulted. Fortunately, we don't have it. There's a big fight in dual lane. Fortunately, it looks like it wasn't in favor of our team. Just look at this clear. I don't even need to auto these. They're gonna die through the mist. Unfortunately, the red buff's down. We're gonna ward up over here just to have track of Merlin. 
Mm, that clear with a three. Oh my god. I really like Nuwa. Always liked her. She's a lot more effective now, which is always welcome. Got a bit of Poke Merlin. Bender was contemplating to go on him, but if he got caught with an unfortunate blink from Merlin, he might have been in a very bad spot, so good discipline on him not doing that. I see Ravana in the jungle. I know they're looking for a blink. I'm not gonna push up too far. <laughs> We're still gonna push up a little bit. I can mark minions with my miss from afar. They cannot really do a whole lot about it. I also can insta clear the wave, so I really don't give a shit. Ravana is doing his thing. We're gonna mark up honor, hoping to get that kill, but looks like he ulted and Shibalanki got pushed out. No kill coming my way. That's fine. If I didn't do that, there was a chance that Ravana would have actually. Uh, that Honor would have actually be able to kill Shibalanki because he would have had more health. So that's also welcome. Just keep attention on the map, look left and right every now and then. Oh, they mess up my clear really bad. Both of them were waiting. Uh, no enemies, not missing middle, my friend. You're mistaken. Both of them were waiting for Merlin basically to just blink and then jump on him and he was disciplined enough. Oh, there's a fight. Let's kill Ravana over here. Oh my god, he's 1 HP. He ults out. He's definitely gonna blink out as well. Let's hold our root here. He's rooted. Let's burn him until he gets immunity. Good shit. Merlin is out of position and he just blinked. I'm waiting for him to show on minis. Okay. He, he's not doing them for some reason. I wanted to steal those, but he is not doing them. Unforge. Gonna go back to lane. He's still ignoring his minis. I specifically have a word to steal those when he goes on them, but he just ignores them for some reason. We have so much gold, but not enough for Kronos Pendant to buy out the whole Kronos Pendant. So we're gonna wait a little bit more. Yeah, he goes for minis now and I'm too far. Unfortunate. My plan didn't quite work out, but we had a good vision on him rotating over there, so good stuff nonetheless. We now have two minions, so they can block waves for a significant amount of time. That's a good thing about playing new Y. If you're getting out push hard, you could just block the wave like this. Ooh, we can get a kill. We can get a kill. Nah, we didn't get a kill. He immuned it. That's unfortunate. The damage kind of still, and the effect still applies. If he dies soon enough, I will still get the assist. Nah, that wasn't fast enough. But fine, just the general visibility, the vision, the damage, it's all there. Helping in the fights like this, it's like Neath. A Neath mid is a very effective thing, you can do that as well. You just ult the wave that has a fight. Same with Athena. Same with the Chernabok, and this is pretty much the same, although your impact is a lot less, so... Just keep your attention on the map. If you have good map awareness, New Eye is a really cool god to play. Oh, hello. Gonna get fucked here a little bit, but not like a whole lot. He's out of position. They should be able to kill him. Oh no, good stuff. I thought Fenner brutalized during his bling, but looks like it just looked like that. I don't know why Shibalanki is spamming enemy missing. Honor was literally standing on the word during his spam. Okay, Honor gets soloed, so gets soloed once, returns the solo kill. Let's see if we can kill him. God damn it. Apparently he healed enough from some sort of lifesteal on maybe his first section on his two. So I wasn't able to murder him in time. 
I have actually so much gold that we picked up Rada Tehuti and we're gonna do the Chronos Pendant afterwards because Rada Tehuti is just such a great item for Nuwa because your main focus of your ultimate is to finish off the enemies and when they're low HP which means under the threshold and you get so much more damage off your ultimate with the Rada Tehutis that is also a great pickup on Onuwa but it costs so much gold that usually tend not to pick up it early but I just had enough also gives insane amount of mp5 we're never gonna run out of mana anymore oh Rowan doesn't understand how much damage i deal let's let's indicate him we're gonna ages that out just in case he does some nasty damage but looks like in his stance that he was having he wasn't able to apply but just better safe than sorry right Merlin's also dead getting jumped on by Fenner let's drop these as well my mist also dealt damage to them which is nice there I would like to gank honor here but I'm way too poked out I can actually die from that I'll leave that to our Fenner grabbing the red buff we're gonna fight here a little bit not a whole lot I'm sure you helped because yeah he 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 played that really well i'm kind of poked out don't want to engage anymore looks like finner is coming around but merlin is not putting himself out of position anymore finner clearly walked past the ward over there ah uh, that stun did not apply hopefully finner is not dying robin is gonna kill him i need to bail out i didn't i didn't do that in time that was a good counter play by the immunity team, it's fine. Gonna ult up, nobody is low. Unfortunately, the enemy team was able to get the gold fury off of that, off of a good rotation because Shibalanki got soloed in his lane again and I also died, along with Fenrir. Which was really unfortunate timing and our set is stuck in his lane doing a hell of a nothing. But overall, having a good game just... I wish he rotated more. He's bullying people in the speed buffing quite successfully at that too. Our support also died to the gold fury fight trying to steal, which is appreciated. Unfortunately, he did not succeed. Looks like Set actually murdered two people while dying inside the enemy speed buff. <laughs> That's good play, man. I mean, not worth it totally because you're so much higher level than them. But still good nonetheless. We're gonna gank honor off of that. Shibalanki didn't get soloed again because I came over here, which is nice. Merlin's here. Uh, yeah, Shibalanki definitely is dead. We cannot kill this man. We have nothing and he's running. I'm just not gonna push my luck here. Gab is also here. Yeah, I'm just gonna back away. This thing's not up. I guess I'm gonna grab this dumb fury and just back away for the Chronos Pendant. Oh, the red buff is down. I need to pick this up like really bad. Okay, I'm here. It's fine. Let's see where they're at. Nobody is low, but we just get some vision. They're not on the fire jam, which was something that I was afraid of. Gonna push this out and back for the Chronos Pendant. Because I rushed Rata to Hoodie, I had to go into Chronos Pendant back because uh, cooldown is super important in Nuwa. I'm able to ult every minute now, which is extremely effective. Good fight in the solo lane, but I think my whole team gonna die right now. Let's help them. Push out the tower as much as we can and help them here. Looks like Bacchus... No, Gep. Did he blink? I think he blinked. Merling's out of position, but we cannot really do a whole lot about that. Let's stun out Gep so he won't catch us. Kronos coming my way. Trying to juke. We have beats for the stun. Unfortunate that hit. I think I can kill him here. He's gonna ult out. Yeah, not fast enough. Gep is gonna finish me off. Let's put some damage onto him. And Set is rotating now when he's actually needed in his lane. That's really weird. Chrono's ult is down, but Bacchus is not the character that can kill him. He can certainly deter him from taking the tower, which is enough. I'll come and go with 
Well, let's see if the speed is getting taken. Nope. They're not stealing anything off of our jungle, which is nice. Cronus is still out of position. Oh, their whole team is here. Bacchus is actually in trouble. I don't want to walk in there like that. I would definitely die right after. Looks like they planned to go on Fire Giant, but they went on the T2 instead because Bacchus was out of position and nobody else was around. Let's push this out. They're definitely doing fire right now. I cannot walk in there alone. I have no mobility and even my ult is down. Fenrir can try. If he goes, I probably will join him. Now, we should go for the Gold Fury instead of going for the fire here, but... Oh, they're not doing the fire, Jai. Merlin's in the left. It's fine. And he gets soloed by Shibalanki, which is even better. Fenrir is dead. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, okay. I don't think Not a whole lot I can do about that. Let's try and stun somebody. That's a lot of damage for myself. Oh, he has an Aegis. Why would you have an Aegis? You're a jungler, my man. It's fine. Looks like they're taking the Gold Fury instead. And it's a good one at that. That's very unfortunate for us. My red buff probably going down as well. Defend the Gold Fury! No, it looks like my red sub, but... Is Banner is getting salty, which is understandable. He's constantly out of position, getting caught, fighting too many people at once. They got the gold fury, but my team is there to do some damage, which is nice. Looks like Set is gonna carry us this game. I'm okay with that. As a zero mobility mage in middle lane, I'm totally fine with this. We can still grab an assist from Ravana. Ooh, or even a kill. That's even better. We can get FG off of that if my team rotates. Most importantly, Shibalanki. Gonna drop their whole jungle. Push out the Oni wave, which is quite important, and then join them on the fire gen. We have good warding. We have the waves pushed up. Should be fine taking the fire. Good stuff. Hopefully Shivalanki doesn't die. He doesn't. Okay. They're looking at their jungle, but I took care of that. So they're just wasting their time right now. I'm gonna push out the Ani wave here. And back for a full... I'm thinking Obsidian shot. Let's look where they are. Since I have my ult every 60 seconds, as you can see, I can use it just for vision, just to make sure nothing cheeky is going on anywhere, that like grouping up and running on somebody, farming alone on the lane, so I can warn them in advance. Our next item is going to be Soul Reaver because uh, this damage, the percentage damage from Soul Reaver is very, very important during your ult. I'm basically going for the uh, better ult build. There's also a better fight build. Ooh, hello, Cronus. How you doing? That's his ult. That's pretty good. Bacchus needs to run like big time. He wastes his ult trying to survive. That's understandable. Cronus has no ult anymore. I missed my stun, which is like super dumb. Big misplay by me. Fenner, what you doing, man? I don't need this shit. Okay, we're gonna stay over here, take our red. You should you should probably stop queuing with that guy. They're chasing people. Set is really good at chasing, and they have just two people alive. Damn, Set's popping off. That's great. This is what I like to see. Ooh, double kill, huh? Okay, this tower is definitely going down. We're gonna secure their red. And go for the left Phoenix. I feel like, yeah, the split push on the Fenner part should be alright. I'm gonna go for the left Phoenix, make sure that this goes down. And meanwhile, Fenner is gonna split push middle lane. He has a lot of power in this too, so it should be fine. I missed another stun, which is unfortunate. <laughs> Look at that damage, man. 
That's almost 500 just in my mist. A lot of people underestimate how much damage the mist does. Wasn't able to stun him out, but Fenrir is still safe. He got out. Oh wait, he didn't. He he got killed by his two. Look at that damage. Boom! Get the hell out of my game. This mist has such a delayed hit, which is really funny when you do that, and it just slowly creeps up on you. But then you fire your three, and it hits immediately, and it's almost it's it's over a thousand damage. Nobody expects that, really. Oh, hello, Marilyn. Wasn't paying attention to it. Trying to be sneaky there, but yeah, Marilyn actually saw me. Ooh, the blinks. Or did he just teleport here? I wasn't paying attention. I need to talk less during the fights. Oh, my minions got stupid. He almost walked into that, actually. The middle wave is pushing into the Titan. That's some free Titan damage for us. Somebody needs to defend right Phoenix, and Fenner does exactly that. I'm gonna back here and finish my Soul Reaver. That is a lot of damage now. And by the time next team fight comes up, I'm gonna have my ultimate up again. It's always awesome because the enemy team has to start either start a team fight uh, poked out or they constantly need the nudge them back. Twice the carnage. Oh my god, Set is just popping off. That triple, all right. Good shit, man. I need to be there actually, but I might as well clear up the jungle. Was that a quarter? I don't think it was, but he still have a very long kill streak. That's what happens when you have bullshit in a solo lane and Seth was able to just roam free and do whatever he wants. I'm gonna drop this. It's really, really frustrating for the enemy jungle and that's exactly what we want to keep. We're gonna keep the frustration level high. Attack, fire giant. Better to keep a low profile. Fire giant's going down. We can actually get the big fire. I can tank with my minions. Hopefully Shibalanki follows on that. Now we're just gonna keep those minions alive because they deal quite significant amount of damage. And we get an ult. Krolus is here. We ult out. Just for the vision, just to make sure that they're not jumping on us. We're gonna back for some Divine Rune over here and also grab a Red Pot for full CDR when we sell our Mage's Blessing. Look at that score. Set is 18 and 4. Holy shit. How are we not like 20k ahead? <laughs> With that kind of score, we almost the whole game were double the kills. My team doesn't realize that we actually need to go the right Phoenix because the left and middle is gonna push itself out. That's really unfortunate, but I'm still gonna go there. We're gonna ward up over here. Okay, that's Kronos ult if I catch him. Hello, Kronos. 800 on my three. That's a lot, man. Some damage. Somebody ages to actually my ult in the left lane. That's also like something that you cannot get anywhere. That's like free ages. I just do that and they waste their relics. That's great. As you can see, the cooldown on my minions now is lowered. So they actually survive almost throughout the whole duration of their cooldown. I'm gonna back away and we're gonna go in again. Oh no, we need to push out the wave. Honors here, which means that Middle Phoenix went down. Oh, hello, Ravana. Honor ages is my three. What a player. I, I, I maybe should have kept it. I'm not going to survive this anyway. My team is stuck in the left lane instead of taking the Phoenix. I tried to stop people from backing because my teammates are pushing up on the enemy Phoenix and Titan. But unfortunately, I was just a couple seconds off and all of them managed to back to the find one. That's like a wasted ult, but it's fine. Let's not call attention to ourselves. 
I utilized my ult more like a utility instead of waiting to finish the kills. And things like that actually should happen every now and then, it's fine. As you can see, my ult is going to be available in 20 seconds yet again, so before the next fight. I don't think this boy is going to finish this huge thing off. Let's help them with some mist, maybe that'll help. Nah, they didn't. I cleared without appearing in the vision because I stood behind. Oh, oh, there's the whole team rotating, I knew. They're still here. Attack right lane. There is great power and knowledge. I hope my team will attack the right. Yeah, he's trying to back. I wasn't able to prevent that, unfortunately. We're still pushing left. I want these minions inside the Titan room. My team, unfortunately, doesn't push on the right Phoenix, but it's fine. We're gonna push these minions in and just rotate right and force the Phoenix. There's a good fight happening in mid. We're gonna rotate from the back and see if we can get sneaky about it. Nobody's coming this way. I'm gonna deal some damage on the Titan and soak their team to back to the Titan, which will allow my team to push up. That's Robin. He's taking damage. We beast the slow. He misses his ult. That's Gap Shield and an Aegis. And my team is taking the right Phoenix just as I planned because three people from the enemy team are here. So the right Phoenix is finally going down as well. And that means that we are totally free to push up on the Titan. I'm very low. I can help with my ult here. Just apply some anti-heal to all of them and just grab this phoenix is what i'm planning to do because with my health i would rather not be there if my team succeeds at killing everybody i can just walk in and deal some damage on the titan yeah we we need to back off oh no Cronus is dead can they catch merlin if they can catch merlin we can finish this game i do a lot of damage that miss for 500, 800, yeah, the Titan goes down, and I'm still safe. We have 17 kills participation out of 47, not really good, but that's because Set completely popped off with 19 kills. That's really awesome. So in terms of builds, uh, we were planning to go to full tier boots, and then in Chronos Pendant start, we started off with the tier 1 Chronos Pendant and Mage's Blessing, but we got so much gold at some point that it's always not a bad idea to go right at Tehuti and get that early power spike and the ability to get more power with the finisher, which is our ultimate. So that is like a staple item for Nua, and it also gives more sustain in MP5, so if you have a chance accidentally or by just making a good play getting a uh, first blood etc etc you just can opt for a rata to hoodie and it's not a bad pickup in this case usually you still tend to go pick up red rata to hoodie later because it's a very tricky item that benefits with the more power you have or a better power spike curve then we go into shoes of focus because cooldown is super important in new why you want to spam these ultimates keep the enemy frustrated and you go for chronos pendant for the same reason with the mage's blessing you at this point have maxed out cdr since you're late on the penetration you go obsidian shard at this point and you also go soul reaver for a, a additional 10 percent which max out your uh, penetration in percentage and you go for a little bit of flat pen with the uh, divine rune usually it's a good pickup when the enemies are healing enough and since uh, honor relies on the lifesteal and ravana also has a healing in his kit and also relies on the lifesteal get provides a lot of passive hp5 merlin relies on bancrofts chronos relies on bancrofts also have life still in this kit it's a really good pickup for divine rune if that's not the case and not a lot of people healing on the enemy team a very nice nasty item that you can go is polynomicon for better team fights or gem of isolation for annoying slow on every time you ult during the team fights just slow them it's annoying as hell on the enemy team, Merlin, pretty standard build, started off with a Book of Thought, which was not really the play, probably looking to finish Rata to Hoodie. In terms of kill participation, we have 17 out of 47, which is not major, especially considering I'm playing new, I should have been more, should have been at least like back as 25, but... It, that's because set completely popped off we was just killing people left and right he is 31 kills out of 47 which is really quite significant 
terms of damage, I am obviously one of the highest on the field, beaten by Seth by just 1k, unfortunately, but he was really doing an amazing job over there. We're the second on the field, comparing that to Merlin is not really fair, considering what my ultimate does. Onua also have some high numbers in the player damage, but it's also very important to not have low numbers on the new one because that's really embarrassing. In terms of uh, comparison, our ADC a little bit of damage the enemy ADC, but not really that significant of an amount. Bacchus somehow managed to be the, uh, about the same damage as Gap, which is not very good because Gap is not super famous for his high damage and Bacchus kind of is. Our solo laner obviously just stomps the enemy solo laner, almost double its damage. Our jungle loses by almost the same mar margin to the enemy jungler, so that kind of where our game was even, unfortunately. But Fenner did a great job in the early game and me and uh, Seth did a great job in the late game, which kind of allows us to win pretty easily staying quite ahead throughout the whole game our structure damage also pretty high along with the set and fender which is very unfortunate because our adc barely touched any structures which is really embarrassing considering that's his main priority in terms of words i put down quite significant amount i also provide a lot of vision with my ultimate on a constant basis uh, our support put down the same amount fender actually put down great amount of words our adc didn't exhaust the free word and our solo laner only exhaust his free word which is unfortunate but he had such a great gameplay that I guess we're gonna forgive him that. On the enemy team, jungler put down one word, which is really fucking embarrassing. Stop being stupid like that, guys. Put down at least a free word. It's goddamn free. Just push the button anywhere in the jungle and it's good for you. And yes, that'll be new while buffed out. A lot less frustrating to play right now. More a secure combo. Overall, always been a good god, never been bad. Now is even better, just a little bit less frustrating, which is always welcome. The less frustration, the better. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video of me playing mid Nuwa and Rank Conquest. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you want to ask me a question, leave a comment. I respond to every single comment on my channel. If you like the video, leave a like on the video. That helps the algorithm and other people to see my content, which is much appreciated. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.